Here we have the new Christmas decoration moulds together with all the material we need for casting. We are using our new solder pot with 5 star metal pewter to show how well it works with our new moulds. First we powder the entire surface of both halves of the mould with talcum powder. This powder helps the air to escape the mould which is why the entire surface needs to be covered. Clap the halves together to remove the excess powder in the mould before assembly. Assemble the halves and add the support boards to each side then attach the clamps. One on each side around the midsection. We're doing a quick temperature test on the metal. Dip the wooden stick into the metal for 5 seconds and once it's extracted it emits a light smoke showing that the temperature is correct. Next we need to heat up the, the ladle before we pour the metal into the mould or the ladle will pre-cool the metal. Leave the ladle in the liquid metal in the pot so that it is always warm when you need to use it. Scoop out some metal with the ladle. See how shiny it is. Pour quickly into the mould right up to the top. Tap the mould briskly with something solid to help settle the metal. These vibrations improve the casting significantly. While we are waiting we can add some flux to the metal. All you need is a pinch of this red powder, sprinkle it in. Take the ladle, stir it around a bit and you can see that the metal is nice and shiny again. The amount of dross has reduced because the flux converts the dross into metal again. Our casting should be solid now. Tap the exposed metal to see if it is hard. Just remember that it is still very hot. 5 star metal takes longer to cool than model metal. Here you can see the casting has filled in very well. Bend the mold slightly and the figure just pops out. It is quite cool on the thinner parts and much hotter on the thicker parts like the ingate. Cut off the ingate by using the flat side of a super snipper. And that is our Christmas decoration, child on sleigh. Now we move on to our other uh, Christmas decorations. First, the rocking horse. Again, we apply the powder. We give it a clap. We make sure that we follow the same procedures as we've just done before. Again, we also can do the uh, moon angel. Same principle. Then we pour the metal in. Let it cool. Give it a tap. Uh, unassemble it. Gently bend the mould to pop out the figures. Use a super snipper to cut away any of the excess ingates. And you've got a lovely rocking horse, as you can see. Detail on both sides. A little bit of a trim at the end, and it's perfect. We also did the exact same thing with our Moon Angel. There you go. Christmas Decorations 2018. Thank you. As a bonus, we want to show you how to make a bow using a ribbon so that you can hang your decorations properly. Take your ribbon and cut both ends at an angle to make a point so you can thread it through the hoops on the decorations. Pull the ribbon through the hole and make sure both sides are even in length. Tie a single knot, put the ribbon across your finger, take the other ribbon side and make a single loop. Pull it tight and it will look like this. Then you take one piece of ribbon and make a loop. Take the other piece and tie it around that loop and pull it through the center to create a bow. This trims off excess ribbon you don't want. The loop in the center is for hanging up the decoration and you have a bow at either side.